The detention options within Wellbeing Setup allow you to specify some simple choices about how you manage detentions. It's worth pausing on this first one, Show Detention Interface. This allows you to choose whether or not the detention option is available in the menu for users. Let's see what we mean by that. At the moment it is set to Yes, so it's visible. If we step back to Wellbeing for a moment, we can see it here in the menu list. If we go back and set it to No, you'll see that it's no longer visible in the menu. You may wish to have this turned off for various reasons, and this will depend on your school's policy on how to manage detentions, and how visible you'd like this to be to your users. The remaining options are fairly simple choices. For example, the days on which detentions can take place are easily selected. In this example, we'll deselect Saturday and Sunday. Remember to click Save once you've made your choices. The next section allows you to specify detention periods. Again, this is fairly simple, but there are a few options here worth noting. As an example, let's add another detention period for recess. Now we'll make an edit. Note here, you have the option to choose if this is the default period when creating detentions. You can also group this period. This may be helpful if you have a large number of detention periods. You can choose the maximum number of students allowable for this period, and also specify which days the period can be used for detentions. Click Save. Detention Statuses allows you to specify where a student is at with their detention. Note that these three options are built in, and you can add more if needed. You can specify the colour of the text, and also whether the detention requires a reschedule if the student doesn't turn up. Let's create one and see how that happens. Let's add one called Completed as a Reschedule. Then scroll back down and click Edit. Notice that the options to change the colour and determine a reschedule now become visible. 